This just in, Avatar News has leaked some huge information about the future Avatar Studio projects that are currently in development. A while back, someone at Paramount told us that there was going to be a new Avatar movie, and we never really heard anything about it ever since that happened. We were just left in the dark for over a year. But finally, that has all changed, and I'll be telling you guys everything I know about the new movies. But first, do you guys know, only 1% of you guys watching this video are subscribed, so only 1% of you guys are are staying up to date on everything Avatar related. So let's change that, hit that subscribe button, and yeah, let's get back to the video. With these two movies, we know that one is primarily focused on Zuko, and the other one is a prequel. It's stated that this prequel will take place anytime before the events of Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, we don't know which of these two movies is coming out first. We also don't even know for sure if this is going to be Avatar Studios' first major animated project. These are just the ones that have been leaked. First, let's talk about this Zuko movie and what it could be and why I think it's going to be the first movie to come out. Now, my my reasoning for all of this is a little bit headcanony, I'm not gonna lie. So just take it with a massive grain of salt, but once you hear me out, it's gonna make some sense. Nickelodeon only has the trademark Avatar The Last Airbender, not Avatar. Because of James Cameron's Avatar, they weren't able to or just didn't want to put Avatar in front of the name The Legend of Korra. Hence all the weird titles it was announced with, like, like it was originally this awful name, The Last Airbender, colon, the Legend of Korra. So if they're not using the term Avatar anymore without The Last Airbender, it would be really weird to release a prequel about something non-Aang related. We haven't had official Avatar animation in years, so releasing a prequel first that doesn't have to do with The Last Airbender or Aang or even have Avatar in the title, people would get confused and overall, it's not a good look. I'm, I'm sure a lot of people are just confused with me just saying Avatar and James Cameron Avatar and saying The Last Airbender and, you know, everything together, right? Everything is super confusing using here. So yeah, under the assumption that they want this animated project to be big and not a flop, they're pretty much going to have to put Avatar The Last Airbender in the title. Or maybe they don't care if it flops. This is all just speculation. But let's talk about what this Zuko movie is going to be, because I think it's kind of obvious. I'm sure you guys remember the end of Avatar The Last Airbender. Zuko goes up to Ozai and he's like, where is my mother? And we never got an animated continuation of that. So if you made me bet with the fate of the universe, Universe, what this was gonna be, I would think they're gonna be animating the comic book The Search. And if it's not that, it's probably gonna be The Promise. Now let's talk about the prequel. We know pretty much nothing about the prequel. The only thing we know is that it has to be before Avatar The Last Airbender. But even though we almost know nothing, I like to speculate. Not mindless speculation, but let's speculate with uh, the best reasoning we can. The Avatar Legends board game is mainly focused around the Avatar Roku era and expanding upon that story. Yang Chan is getting a whole novel expanded on her story in a little bit over a month. Kyoshi already has two novels, and Avatar Wan's story was pretty much already told. Korra could be expanded on, but it's unlikely due to it not being received well with fans. And I'm gonna be honest, no one cares about Avatar Kruk. I personally think this is gonna be an all new Avatar. Maybe the first Air Nomad Avatar? That would be pretty cool. Or maybe they'll just go with the fan favorite, which would be Kiyoshi. Either way, don't expect these projects to be done until 2024 at the very earliest, as we were already told last year that it would be years before we saw any of the animated projects. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Remember to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. Be sure to follow Avatar News underscore on Twitter, link in the description down below. They leak almost everything first. Anyways, that's all I gotta say, and uh, I'm out.